welcome Taurus Taurus is uh, Taurus is this is the last week of March the week is from the 22nd till the 28th the magical map Taurus is there is a shift that is coming up in the world of the Tauruses the magical map is coming in so some sort of unexpected shift unexpected turns is going to be happening for you Taurus says all right let's see what is coming up with this magical shift all right so we see um you men um are going to be finding out uh, that you have an enemy and that uh, your partner could be your greatest enemy so you men is going to be recognizing that you have an enemy and your partner could be your greatest enemy i see changes is coming up in relationship you men are going to be recognizing that someone you were seeing maybe a side piece chick was your greatest enemy because it's about the lover the lover and la, la manita la manita is the, the enemy the female enemy oh yeah so a lot of you men is going to be recognizing um you know you could have been in a relationship with someone but this person is not who you think they are they are your biggest enemy um a lot of you tauruses some sort of a new start is coming up this is going to be good um then we have um some sort of a balance is coming up a new start and some sort of a positive balance to a situation a problem some sort of an issue this is good because when a balance come in in the foundation it is always good so that is creating the magical shift debt and transformation some sort of a huge transformation is coming up that's why you have um the magical shift okay then we have um this energy of um the ace a circle a cycle this is a fire energy um a huge fire energy that is coming up for you guys okay so be aware some sort of a news is going to be coming in um that is going to be bringing in some sort of a balance you see how huge it's like a new start with this new start um a lot of you a transition is coming up a lot of you new start and a transition is definitely coming up you're on your way for a new start um then they are going to be this is the eight of swords a lot of you were not seeing something that was happening and i see information is going to be coming out to alert you tauruses as what has been happening and transpiring your outcome is the energy of the four of pentacles in the in the upright four of pentacles so financial stability is going to be reclaiming a lot of you in this week is going to be reclaiming your financial stability and you're going to be moving forward a lot of you are going to be ending some sort of a relationship with a woman because you're going to be re realizing that the woman have been sucking you dry so you're going to be deciding um, to hand number seven a lot of people are getting the energy of number seven you men are dealing with dualities because you men who had some sort of uh, um, relationship with a third party you're going to be recognizing something that this third party have been sucking you dry and you're going to be ending this so you have major on a on Monday some sort of a new chart Tuesday um, uh, balance temperance this is good a hurt sign um wednesday you have the energy of transition debt and thursday some sort of a new information is coming in friday you're moving forward and saturday you're going to be recognizing some sort of information is coming out so the energy of the star is here so you're definitely going to be having some sort of a new start tauruses so congratulations a lot of you are going to be having a new start with your marriage or in relationships. Um, I see your relationship is going to be going on the other level or you're going to be ending this relationship. A lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming a cancer and what a cancer have created in your world. A lot of people are going to be recognizing that um, the negative forces that was affecting your world, you're putting an end to this. A whole lot of inner conflicts is coming up, but it is going to be okay. Whoever start this week with a whole lot of inner conflicts, it is going to be okay because you're going to be 
resolving whatever issues you were going through new love is coming in and a lot of you are going to be opening up for this new love some sort of a new relationship is going to be starting and this is going to be good um you could be moving this relationship to another level so i see um a lot of you are going to be offering love to an aquarian a lot of you are going to be opening up your heart to an aquarian a lot of you are going to be having some sort of a new starting relationship with an aquarian a lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming a cancer or a couple who are creating a whole lot of issue um this cancer is the devil itself and i see an ending is coming up for this person that is here so taurus is someone is going to be passing away in your family or in your world someone is going to be dying okay um, I'm not seeing um, who, but it's coming up as a family figure. A lot of you, a Taurus is just going to be receiving some sort of a message that someone is dying. Two, two times the energy of the dead. Number 13 is your energy vibration. Three of Pentacles um, is here. Transition. Um, transition with some sort of a networking is coming up. And I see the magician is coming out. So, the energy of, of the magician is going to be bringing down some sort of a negative play that was happening. Um, justice is here. Justice is coming up. And I see money is going to be returning to some of you Tauruses. So if some of you Tauruses, someone had pinched you off a whole lot of money, some sort of a legal situation is going to be ending. And I see you Tauruses. Um, fin your financial situation is going to be rebalanced. It is an earth week uh, um, where you guys are getting a lot of help um, from the balancing of problems, issues, and situation. An end is coming up for Aries. An Aries that has collaborated. Some of you could have collaborated with an Aries. An end is coming up. Then we see you moving forward on a very, very positive way. A lot of you who had a lot of inner conflicts is going to come to an end. I see that you have the energy of the magician. A lot of you are ending some sort of a negative energy, negative forces, negative people that was coming at you. Information that was not cleared, you're going to be recognizing um, that people had collaborated against you, some sort of a communication that you were not aware of that was going on. You're going to be recognizing that people was creating and collaborating against you and a whole lot of information is coming out. I see that they're going to be recognizing some sort of a false move that an Aquarian has done and you're going to be overcoming an Aquarian. So um, whatever is transpiring, a lot of you... Um, or we're going to be starting relationship with an Aquarian. I see you're offering love to an Aquarian. Bam, bam, bam. I see some new starts are going to be coming in. And, you know, a lot of you were in conflicts, worried, worried. Oh, my God, you're worried. And you were worried and trying to figure out the connection. And all of a sudden, you recognize, oh, my God, this Aries have not been speaking the truth. This Aries have been working me a very long time. And I see that an end is going to be coming into some sort of a network between you and an Aries because they're, you're going to be recognizing some sort of a details is going to be coming out. Some sort of an information communication is going to be coming at you from an Aries and you're going to be winning some sort of a lawsuit. And I see financial stability is going to be returned. Um, a lot of you who were, um, you know, conflicted over whether or not you should ask an Aquarian for a new start. I see you're going to be doing that, but it's a karmatic relationship. So it's not going to be lasting. Okay. It is a karmatic relationship. It's not going to be lasting. So let's see what is transpiring. Peace is going to be finally coming in and whatever that was going between you, going on between you and an Aquarian or some sort of an investigation that was transpiring. I see peace is coming in, um, but I see this is more of some sort of a conflict that you are having with an Aquarian. It's going to be over and I see love is going to be offered to you, Tauruses. News is coming in that a balance is here. 
because they have recognized that a can as a, a cancer was being very dishonest. An end is here for a cancer. They recognize a huge um, play of a cancer and what a cancer have done. And you're going to be receiving this message that a cancer, they finally caught a cancer in what they were doing. An end is coming up to the emotional situation that a lot of you were dealing with with a cancer. You were worried whether or not they were going to finally find out what this person was doing. It's now coming out. Positive news start is coming up for a lot of you. Um, positive uh, uh, information is going to be coming at you. And I see the energy of uh, a lot of you have been standing and recognizing what was happening. And now I see peace, peace with whatever investigation, whatever legal issues that a lot of you were having. I see transition, transition and um, is going to be coming in. Um, and I see an, an end is coming in for a Sagittarian overseas. Whoever the Sagittarian is overseas, an end is coming in. And I see a lot of you are going to be offering a Capricorn a whole lot of love because you recognize that a Sagittarian overseas, an end came in for this person because they recognize that the Sagittarian overseas was being very dishonest and had created a whole lot of issue and problems. And I see love is you're offering a Capricorn love because you recognize that a Capricorn has gone through a lot. I see a block. A block is going to be placed on a Sagittarian moving forward. And the Eight of Cups, an end is going to be coming in because people are going to be recognizing and information is going to be coming out where people are going to be recognizing um, that people were gossiping, a whole lot of gossip. And I am, um, and uh, something that you're not, you weren't seeing clearly is going to be, clarity is going to be coming in um, for uh, you. And I see you're going to be apologizing to a Capricorn in another country because clarity came in and they're going to be recognizing that a lot of you Tauruses add some sort of information and detail of a Capricorn and they are recognizing what is transpiring. They're canceling a Sagittarian travel documents or they're can yeah, they're going to be canceling a tra Sagittarian tra travel documents because they recognize the unfair game of a Sagittarian and what a Sagittarian has created. Somehow you Tauruses are connected, whether in business and work with a Sagittarian. And I see that you are going to be recognizing that you thought that the Sagittarian was your biggest friend, but it was your worst enemy. So a legal suit is as if uh, a Sagittarian tried to pull up a legal suit against you, but they're going to be ending the Sagittarian. Debt is coming up for the Sagittarian. Some sort of a transition. Debt is coming up for a Sagittarian. But I see you, Taurus, is, is like going to apologize to a Capricorn um, because you recognize with details and information, you recognize that a Capricorn is the right person. And I see you regrettedly accuse or try to work against this Capricorn because you recognize that the Sagittarian was uh, lying. Okay, you recognize they're blocking a Aries. Whether this Aries is trying to um, create uh, this Aries and a group of people, this Aries had collaborated um, with a group of people to work against the Capricorn. And I see that you um, Tauruses are going to be really successfully overcoming this Aries and 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 I see no new start is coming up for this Aries because they recognize that an Aries had collaborated and tried to create some sort of a problems and issues um, for a Taurus and whatever that was transpiring, you Taurus is standing your ground. An end is going to be coming in. There is and this end this end needs to come in. A lot of you are going to be receiving some sort of a message that an end is coming in for a Sagittarius because they recognize what a Sagittarius in another country has done. I see a lot of love and um, a lot of you are going to be going back to an Aquarian. A lot of you are going to be offering love to an Aquarian. It's not going to last long. The chemistry is here, but the chemistry is going to die. Ooh, they're going to be finding out how deceptive a Cancer is. 
news is going to be coming in and I see they're going to be bringing this to a balance because they recognize that a Cancer and a Sagittarian in another country and this coming up for the set, um, Cancer and Sagittarian, they recognize that this Cancer was using negative forces, the energy of the devil. But it's as if you Tauruses had, uh, could protect yourself from what was happening. Um, and I see information, some sort of information of a Gemini. A Gemini is going to be um, pulling out some information against the Aries and, and because of that, it's going to be ending some sort of a legal issue because people are going to be recognizing the deceptive play of this Gemini and what this Gemini have done. Okay, the deceptive play of this Gemini and what a Gemini have done. But the Gemini actually give information to help a lot of you Tauruses to get out of a situation. Oh my God. So Tauruses, whoever that was having some sort of a problem, relationship problem, I see that is going to be shifting and changing. It's like, wow, okay, all right. So that is going to be good. Some sort of a lawsuit is going to be bringing back financial stability to the people. But this is like a big um, payout, a big lawsuit payout. But they're going to be blocking an Aries. An Aries and a Sagittarian is going to be blocked. An Aries is definitely going to be blocked. A Sagittarian and a Cancer, they're going to be ending some sort of a situation for a Sagittarian and a Cancer. I got to go, ladies and gentlemen. What a week, what a week, what a week. But you um, you Tauruses are coming out with um, long-term financial stability. And that is uh, very, very good. And information and data... I see some of you Taurus is like um, ending of um, getting rid of information and data because you realize that they're about to call, to catch some of you with information and data from a Capricorn person that you should have never had, and they're going to be um, you're going to be trying to get rid of it, get rid of it because you recognize that a legal suit is coming out. Okay, uh, so wow. Mm -mm -mm. and to the, the negative play from a, a cancer they're seeing the the, the 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 destructiveness of a cancer they're going to be releasing you from the destructiveness of a cancer and you're going to be like walking away a whole lot of communication is coming in from an aquarium but i'm telling you guys you can start about this relationship or you know, start this pressure. It's not going to last. You are connected to water sign people and earth sign people. So this is like you have a fling or, but it's not going to be lasting. Okay. So, um, transition and endings are coming in and it's going to be hitting a Sagittarian and a Cancer because they recognize the play. And I see you Tauruses had to give up a Sagittarian and a Cancer in order to get out of some sort of a problem you were in and it's okay i do love you guys thumbs up thumbs up i think the love readings are out and um i will speak to you later namaste welcome virgos virgos this is the last week of march and you have the golden palace the golden palace oh my god virgos you have the golden palace so I see with business, business could be good for you, Virgo. Some sort of a news is going to be coming in. So business is going to be good for you, Virgo. So whoever um, have a business, I see business could be good for you, Virgos, in this week. Wow. All righty, Virgos. That looks good. Some sort of a good news is coming in for you, Virgos. All right. Let's go here. Thank you for coming here. Please like and share, subscribe, use this notification button to subscribe to the channel. All right, we have the energy of the three of pentacles, so this is good. Success when it comes up to business, money is here. Um, good network, okay? The energy of the devil is over. Um, there was a group of people that was creating some sort of a problem and issue. Um, a group of people that collaborated together. The energy of a lovers is here. Um, some of you are going to be 
balancing out some sort of a problem. A judgment call is coming up because people recognize that there was some sort of a foul play um, that was created. A lot of major arcanas. A lot of major arcanas. All right. A lot of major arcanas. Ooh. All right. All right. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. Some sort of a new contract is going to be coming in for you, Virgo. So that is good. We see your finance strength. So you have a bittersweet week. So we have success, but we have the devil. Then we have the love as a contract, but um, 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 judgment. Then we have the wheel of fortune, but we have inner strength. <laughs> Let's see what is your outcome. So the high princess, secret, secret, secret. So secret, some sort of a secret is coming out about you businessmen. Whatever is happening and transpiring, you businessmen are showing up. Secrets are coming out about you businessmen. Especially very rich um, businessmen. A lot of secrets is coming out about you very um, rich um, financial stability businessmen. Ladies and gentlemen, last week, week is from the 22nd until the 28th. Let's check in and see what is coming up. So judgment call um, about some of you businessmen. Secrets is coming out about you business people. Um, then we see a lot of you are going to be successful in relationships with your wife or husband. Um, I see the energy of the devil. A uh, judgment call is going to be coming down. I see a lot of you are trying to find inner strength because some sort of a secret comes out. So you have the energy of the devil, judgment, and strength in your foundation. So they're recognizing what a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion man have done. Some of you, um, this could be your husband or your father or a family member. And I see no new start for this man. You will have a new start, but for this man, no new start. Then I see judgment. Twice the energy of judgment, ladies and gentlemen. Twice the energy of judgment. And this is have to do with a scorpion. Whoever the scorpion is and whatever is transpiring, some sort of a situation that the scorpion have created, people are recognizing this. So there's a lot of doubles coming up in this week. A lot of data and information is going to be coming out. And they're going to be recognizing um, some sort of information is going to be coming out. It's like data and information over your business. So yes, the eight of pentacles is here and they're going to be recognizing um, something about Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, man, whoever this man is. Um, you could have, uh, um, this could be your um, husband or wife. Some sort of information is coming out about this man. A lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming some sort of an issue that was created. A new start is definitely going to be coming in for a lot of you Virgos. It's as if your fortune is going to be coming back. And I see a lot of burdens for businessmen. Businessmen are going to be having a, a lot of Virgos. So it's as if a lot of problems. So it's as if a lot of you are going to be celebrating over whoever the spicy scans or scorpion man is. There is something about this man and some sort of information and data this man could have paid for some sort of information and data and you're going to be successful. I see hardship. So you have two double whammies. Um, you have judgment and hardship. Judgment on hardship. So, you know, this is really a bit of sweet week for you guys. So you have, uh, this is eight. And this is eight. Twice eight. So um, it's as if money is the infinity. There's something, some sort of an infinity situation that is taking place. Money is here. Money is the name of the game. Some sort of an infinity situation is taking place. A lot of secrets is coming out about a Leo. Whoever this Leo is, a lot of secrets are going to be coming out about this Leo. People are going to be finding out something. Then when we look, we see you're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion. Man, this man is in the reverse. It's as if this man is uh, checking uh, or... or, or um, mm, spying on you um uh creating a uh, having a tab on you so be aware this man is not good he's a scorpion man not a good man a very deceptive man 
they're going to be recognizing, maybe this man is your child's father that is in Aries, but they're going to be recognizing that this Scorpion man and a young Aries had created some sort of a problem. I see that this Scorpion man is having some sort of a tab on some of you Virgos. Be aware of this. Okay, that's not healthy. Then I see at the workplace, a lot of you are dealing with a Pisces Cancer Scorpion man that is your boss. Um, I see you're going to be finding out a whole lot of information about this man. And you are going to be finding out that this man could be leaving. Um, and this man is not carrying his weight. You're doing all of the work. A judgment call is going to be coming down where this man could be leaving and you could be receiving this man position. A whole, yeah, a whole lot of you are going to be having some sort of a start. So I see success, a new start is going to be coming in. Whatever your burdens is and was, judgment is coming down on a um, Pisces Cancer, a Scorpion man, some sort of a data document information comes and i see fast it's going to be a fast week virgos whatever is transpiring is going to be a very fast week um some sort of a new contract could be coming in you virgos could be creating some sort of a new contract um they're going to be recognizing that a scorpion has not been very honest a scorpion have data and information they shouldn't have had. And a scorpion has given a Aries some data and information that should not have had fun. Okay. <clears throat> New start. If anyone is looking for work, you're going to be or waiting on a, um, the second, um, you know, Wait, it is going to be coming in. A new contract, new contract, <clears throat> new business deal. The documents you are waiting on is going to be coming in. Judgment. And who is this judgment for? Judgment for a Sagittarian person. Whoever the Sagittarian person is, judgment is coming down on the Sagittarian person. Ladies and gentlemen, you have eight three times. So money is not going to be a problem, okay? It's going to be a lucky week where money is, is going to be coming in because you have the golden palace. And it's as if unexpected money is going to be returning to a lot of you. Judgment for a Sagittarian. Whoever is a Sagittarian, some sort of a judgment call because of data and information. I see businessmen, they have been investigating your business and they're going to be recognizing that you businessmen... It held back some money. So I see the devil. And the devil uh, has to do with a Sagittarian. A Sagittarian, uh, uh, Aries and a Scorpion have been working um, against some of you uh, Virgos. They're going to be recognizing, you Virgos are going to be recognizing that a, a Scorpion, a Aries and a Sagittarian judgment call you you virgos are going to be bringing down judgment call on these people because you virgos recognize that these people had collaborated together and created a whole lot of uh, problems for you judgment call on a sagittarian they're recognizing what a sagittarian have done and data and information judgment call on a pisces cancer a scorpion man they recognize what the scorpion man have done and how the scorpion man has gotten some sort of a data information the wheel of fortune is going to bring a lot of you a whole lot of success a wheel of fortune if you're working on a project if you're investigating a company if you whatever you're doing business wise for women you're going to be very successful men in business you have some serious problem um, secrets is going to be coming out. Some of you that have collaborated with a Leo, secrets is going to be coming out. They're going to be recognizing. Um, a Leo is uh, um, going to be a lot of people's secrets about a Leo. A lot of you are looking for inner strength to deal with some sort of a problem that is coming up in this week. And this problem was created by a scorpion. Okay. A scorpion and a Sagittarian created this problem. And because of this problem, a lot of you Geminis are having some serious, serious issues. Uh, and a lot of you Virgos and Geminis, Virgos and Geminis are having some serious issue in this week. And it is where um, a 
Pisces, Cancer, or a, 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 a Scorpion, a Aries, and a Leo. They falsify data, information, something at a workplace, data um, that came out, information from the workplace. They recognize that there was some sort of a, a falsification of data and information, and they recognize and is now finding out what has happened, what has transpired. A whole lot of secrets about Aaliyah is coming out, and a lot of you um, Virgos are going to be successfully overcoming Aaliyah. A lot of you Virgos, you're going to be extremely, extremely successfully overcoming a Leo and what they have done. Okay. A new start is going to be coming up. A new contract is going to be coming up. So a lot of you who are worried about a new job, not to worry. It's going to be okay. They're going to be recognizing the real deceptive um, jealousy of a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, or horrible jealous person whether this person is is horrible jealous um they're going to be finding out that this person had given documentation um to someone else a resolution is going to be coming in because they recognize the play of a scorpion an aries and a sagittarian and they have created some sort of a chaos against you virgos and brought you virgos in chaos judgment call is coming down on a sagittarian woman chow Whoever the Sagittarian woman child is, I've created some sort of a problem and they wanted to give this Sagittarian woman child a new start. It's not going to be happening. Secrets, some sort of a secret, love, a secret affair is now out. So whoever was married and was having some sort of a secret affair, it's now out. People have data and information and is going to be finding out. So um, they're going to be recognizing and I see regrets. I see um, a scorpion regret a situation because a scorpion um, tried to get some data and information in order to give to our secret lover, but it did not work out. Oh, oh, oh. It did not work out. It didn't work out. No, it really did not work out. So I don't know what was happening, Virgos, but... A scorpion was trying to give her secret lover some sort of a new start. And uh, um, they're going to be recognizing um, what a Pisces Cancer Scorpion man have done and how he had used data and information to give someone, a, a Sagittarian woman, some, a child, some sort of a new start. And they recognize the play of what has transpired. A lot of you have some sort of a secret level of the workplace. It is going to be coming out. I see hardship because it's definitely going to be coming out. Whatever secret affair or whatever secret contract that was created that you Virgos tried to create is going to be coming out. A lot of people are going to be recognizing that you Virgos tried to give your secret, your partner, someone else's information and data. You had a... A lot of you Virgo men that have a side piece chick and someone on the side, it is going to be coming out that you had a secret affair. Your wife is going to be finding out that you had a secret affair. And you are trying to give a young lady, a Sagittarian person, um, daughter, a new start. And they're going to be recognizing judgment is happening because this person is not going to be receiving this new start. So, ladies and gentlemen, you have three times eight money and, um, you know, unexpected money could be returned to a lot of you. But you also are dealing with the Leos and you're dealing with some real serious problems with Leos. Secrets about the Leos is coming out. Whoever had secret affair and relationship on the work floor or with people that you work with, it's going to be coming out. A resolution is going to be coming in because they have recognized uh, um, that you Virgos had given data and information to a scorpion person to give a Aries person some sort of a new start, a young child. And they're going to be recognizing that you Virgos are the one that have done it. So I see Virgo businessmen, you're in for some serious problems. Um, definitely serious problems because they recognize that you 
um, were the one that was trying to get this data to give to your secret lover or someone else's secret lover. But I see uh, secrets are coming out that you Virgos did not want to come out in this week. You're going to be trying to find inner strength to deal with this. I see you're going to be carrying a whole lot of Virgos, a Virgo, especially Virgo men that had some sort of a secret affair, secret contract, secret love affair. I see that they're going to be coming down and holding on on you Virgo men. Resolution for a child is going to be coming in. They're going to be definitely trying to resolve a situation for a scorpion child because they have recognized uh, what a Sagittarian have put a scorpion child through and they're going to be recognizing this and helping a scorpion child and giving a scorpion child a new start. So I see a scorpion young child is going to be successfully overcoming what they have done to the scorpion child and how they have created some sort of a horrible, horrible situation against the scorpion child and people are going to be coming together to resolve some sort of a problem, some sort of a situation and bring back balance to the world of the scorpion child. So ladies and gentlemen, I got to go. Thumbs up. Check out the love reading. I love you guys. Namaste. Upset. You're going to be so upset. So moonlighting, something is coming out about a new a, a, a theft that was created and you are going to be very very upset you are going to be so upset you could be finding out a huge theft that was uh, created and you're going to be so upset truth is coming out and it has to do with a family member or a friend that created some sort of a huge theft and it's coming out. All right, let's see. The Empress is here. This is good. So some of you are uh, your child. Um, there could be some sort of a problem with your child. Light is going to be shedding on a situation. You women are going to be making sure that you shed light on a situation. Okay. Two of Cups. I see love is going to be offered. Um, some of you are like... Uh, I'm holding it down. I'm holding it back. I see you have no regrets. You have no regrets. You shed light on a situation and you have no regrets. You have shed light on a situation and you have no regrets. So, uh, the six of wands, a situation is not yet over, um, with a cancer. Uh, I see a whole lot of money is going to be returning back to you. Um, Capricorns, a whole lot of money, the 10 of Pentacles. So this is good. A whole lot of money is going to be returning back to you, Capricorns, the 10 of Pentacles. Okay. Wow. And the outcomes is that, um, the Knight of Pentacles, they're going to be recognized something about the Knight of Pentacles. Whether this Knight of Pentacles is, um, they're going to be finding out that a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn have created a huge criminal offense attack. So I see you older women are standing your grounds. You're not showing any affection to anyone in this week. I see you recognize um, some sort of information about a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person, what they have done, that they uh, could have created some sort of a um, theft. And I see that you're going to be recognizing what they have done. And I see the seven of ones, you're standing your ground, especially uh, women 50 years and older, you're standing your ground. You're showing up the deceptiveness, uh, what has happened and has transpired um, that a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person, they're recognizing the truth that a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person have created a huge theft. So together with an Aries Leo or Sagittarian man, they're going to be recognizing that a, these people have created a huge theft on the lies and deceptiveness of the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarius man. I see help is going to be coming in for you ladies 50 years and older because they have recognized what these people have done. And I see that you're going to be making a huge decision 
because you recognize the play of these people. Good news. Good news is going to be here on Wednesday. Expect some sort of a good news on a Wednesday, okay? Because you stand your grounds and show up some sort of a really dishonest play of a cancer. Whether this cancer is, I see you're going to be overcoming this cancer. Again, ladies and gentlemen, women 50 years and older, I see you have no regrets uh, uh, by showing up uh, a young um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn person and the Aries the Aries Sagittarian man, the lies and criminals that they are. I see love. I see love is going to be offered to you, but I see it's as if you're like, back up. Don't come to me. Don't show me anything. I don't want to be. Don't connect with me. I don't want. So moonlighting is the energy of uh, a lot of you are going to be showing up uh, a huge criminal offense, a huge theft. Something is going to be coming out in this week about a huge theft, okay? Good news is going to be coming in to you ladies 50 years and older. Money that was taken and stolen is going to be returning. They are going to be re recognizing the lies and deceptiveness. So, um, information is going to be coming out uh, and they're going to be recognizing the lies and deceptiveness of your partner or a cancer person. They're seeing the truth and that a young Aries, a young uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person have worked together with an Aries, the or Sagittarian man to create some sort of an offensive criminal um, uh, situation. And they're going to be seeing that. A lot of you, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person is going to be standing your ground and showing up the lies and deceptiveness of a young Taurus, Virgo, a young, this is a Taurus, a Taurus man, a Taurus man and an Aries, the or Sagittarian you're going to be standing your ground and showing up uh, the deceptiveness of these people. I see some sort of a decision is going to be made over a cancer. And I see you're going to be happy about what has made because they recognize that a cancer together with a Taurus uh, or a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn has created some sort of a criminal offense. And they're going to be making a decision about a cancer. I see a lot of you women is standing your ground and you're going to be receiving help. Um, um, because they re recognize and you, you have no emotions, no emotions. It's like you ladies, you Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn ladies, you have absolutely no emotion because you recognize that these people are in need to come to these people. And you are like, I am not playing any game anymore. Back the F up. Okay. Back up because I'm not playing any game anymore. So you're going to be shedding light on a huge criminal organization and the tap of these people and what these people have done. You're going to be shedding light on this. I see regrets for a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person and a cancer. I see regrets for these people because you stood your ground. Whoever is dealing with a cancer, I see some sort of a decision is going to be made because information came out about this cancer. And I see a lot of you are going to be victoriously overcoming and people are going to be helping you because they have recognized the deceptiveness. So I see they're going to be recognizing how much money was stolen from you ladies and your business. And I see information is going to be coming in. They're going to be recognizing that a young Taurus Virgo Capricorn person gave a Aries Leo or Sagittarian data and information of you older Capricorn woman and took a lot of money and they're going to be coming down on them and I see that they're going to be caught because that is the, the huge criminal offense that comes out. Long-term stability is going to be here um, for you um, ladies, business ladies, because you show up some deceptive play that was transpiring. You are going to be luckily overcoming some sort of a situation um, with a cancer. There, you're going to be recognizing um, that um, you're going to be luckily successfully overcoming the deceptiveness of a young Taurus Virgo Capcom person and a air. Ah, there we go. Celebration. A lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming, you know. An Aries Leo, a Sagittarian man, and the lies and deceptiveness of this man. I see some sort of a new offer is going to be coming in for um, you, um, you uh, Capricorns. Uh, um, some sort of a good news and a new offer is going to be coming in for you Capricorns. Uh, 
you're going to be overcoming and you're going to be successfully overcoming a Taurus and what a Taurus have done. Some sort of health issues um, could be coming up for you guys. And I see a lot of money. A lot of money is going to be returning. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of money is going to be returning. All right. So they're going to be recognizing that a young Taurus Virgo a Capricorn together with a Cancer is uh, two criminals. They are the fox. They're two criminals. So a young a young um, Taurus Virgo a Capricorn person together with a Cancer. I see regret for this person. They're recognizing that this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is a fox. The woman is a blatant criminal. It can be a woman or a man. They are recognizing that uh, this, this young lady is the fox. Uh, this young lady have created some sort of a criminal offense. I see um, that she is, um, she's sad. She's sad because they, they found out that she and a Aries Lear, Sagittarian man has created some deceptive play. Light is shed on the two of them and the deceptive play that they have created. Truth is coming out. So I see you're going to be successfully overcoming a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. I see they recognize the deceptiveness. Light is been shed that um, this older Aries Lear, Sagittarian man, again, with a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person had created some sort of a deceptiveness. Truth is coming out. A lot of you women are standing your ground and showing up some sort of unfavorable games that was created. I see you have no regrets. You have absolutely no regrets. You are successfully overcoming the unpleasant state of a Aries Lear or Sagittarian man. You successfully overcome. Expect some sort of a new contract on Wednesday. Wednesday. It's going to be a good day. I mean, all this week, it's going to be good for you Capricorns because you're going to be recognizing what they were doing. Um, a new offer is going to be coming in for you Capricorns, some sort of a good news. People are going to be helping you to rebalance and regain some sort of a stability. Health issues could be cropping up, but it is going to be going away. Some of you are just tired and stressed out and... Uh, yeah, tired and stressed out. A whole lot of money is going to be coming back and they're going to be recognizing that a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is a criminal and very deceiving. So together, this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person and work with a, um, a Pisces, a, 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 a Cancer, and they're going to be recognizing that, that, that these people are seriously ill. They're, they're crooks, the fox. Criminals. So I see an investigation and they recognize that a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn together with a cancer is a crooks criminal. All right. Lagos, the thief. The thief. You're going to be overcoming um, a theft that has been created. People are going to be recognizing um, what has transpired. I see delusion for a Libran. They recognize that a Libran has created a theft. Delusion for a Libran. Um, and a Libran had thought that they were going to be get away, getting away with a theft. But I see that a delusion is coming up for this person. Okay. Um, real delusion. Okay. So I see, um, whoever that, you know, people in authority could have created some sort of a deceptive, deceptive play and a theft. Okay. So, Lado, um, a lot of you are going to be ending some sort of a legal suit. They're going to be recognizing, ending some sort of a legal suit. They're going to be rec recognizing and seeing the truth of what was transpiring. Then we want to know who is Lado. Who is Lado? Lado. Um, it's coming up as... Um, Oh, Laro is coming up as civil servants, uh, corrupt civil servants. Um, don't go anywhere this week, um, Capricorn. Someone could be trying to break in your house. So, yeah, the energy of the emperor. They're going to be recognizing that a businessman, an Aries businessman, is a, is a criminal. 
the Aries businessman is a criminal and his secret is going to be coming out and he's going to be delusion because his secret came out. Okay. So, um, um, there's, they're going to be finding out corrupt civil servants also. They're going to be really finding out some corrupt civil servants um, that was around you. Very, very corrupt civil servants uh, that was around you. And a Aries man, they're going to be finding out what a huge criminal a Aries man is. I see delusion, delusion um, for this Aries man and for um, the corrupt people because they recognize that they were not speaking the truth. Wow. Oh my God. So, um, truth is coming out. It's a week where truth is going to be coming out, but it is a week where Capricorns, um, and young Capricorns, you're, you know, you're finding yourself. So, and young Capricorns between the age of 18 and 45 is finding yourself or 18 and 50 is finding yourself in some serious problem. I see, um, sadness because they have caught you red-handed something what you have done you have gone too far um young capricorns had gone too far whatever um that was going on young capricorns had gone a bit too far and this aries they are sagittarian man they are recognizing what a big crook this person is um capricorn if you can stay home stay home and if your house is broken in, it has to do with a Aries man, um, a criminal business Aries man, or some civil servants. They're crook. They're trying to find some data and documentation, but they're going to be caught because I see it's as if some of you Capricorns that is going through some sort of a long drawn out legal issue, they are now recognizing that you were target and you were target by this Aries Lee or Sagittarian man. This man is a criminal businessman. Um, and this man has been targeting you for a very long time. And he is the one that has broken in your house. So moonlighting is like something that happened from the past. It's coming back to reveal who was the person who broke into your house. And this is a criminal um, businessman. A criminal businessman was the one who broke in your house. I see this man is now delirious because his secret came out. Because he left evidence in your house and people were trying to hide the evidence. And this was something that happened a long time ago. And now they're putting the puzzle together and is recognizing that this Aries Lee or Sagittarian man is the one that broke in your house and has access and changed your data and uh, together with an, an, an uh, Taurus man that had worked together, they're now recognizing that these people wanted to steal your luck. Um, so a young, a, a young um, Taurus very, very Capricorn person wanted to steal your luck, and they recognize uh, that this Taurus, Taurus very, very Capricorn person wanted to steal your luck and work together with an Aries Lee or a Sagittarian man. To create some sort of a deceptiveness, okay, the seven of swords in reverse, but they are now caught, and your luck is going to be returned to your freaking criminals. So I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, um, as a Capricorn, I don't trust another Capricorn. And uh, um, why I say this is that every time I open up my world to a Capricorn, I don't know, I'm one of these good people. I I am one of these people that uh, I don't do anything and expect anything. I have no hidden agenda. If I open my world to you, you are there. It's because I think that you are capable of being in my world. But I have three. I have, I have three three Capricorns that I think not in this lifetime or another lifetime don't cross my part I don't want to whatever karmas we have I'm clearing a karma whatever that we have right into this lifetime ladies and gentlemen I used to work with a Capricorn and this was a whole lady to me very old lady to me um many years in Rotterdam I used to work with this lady 
And she was the secretary of the director and I was the, in the financial, I was assistant to the financial controller and, you know, good friends, blah, blah, blah. She left. I remember when she was leaving and I was getting money, nobody wanted to give money. Um, you know, we always, uh, when people are leaving, we're going to be, um, you know, asking, you know, so-and-so is leaving. We want to buy a, a gift. No one gave, they gave something like one euro. Because in the time it was Euro. Euro was here. And I said, you know something, it's okay. I gave back the Euro to the person. I said, you know something, Carol? I'm going to invite you to my house. And I had pizza, um, Evelyn. I remember I went to Domino's Pizza. We had, it was in, a, in the April, around about April. And I, I used my home money. Went to Domino's Pizza and invite um, everyone who wanted to come. Everyone was in my garden. We all had pizza. And that woman, after many years, I started my home business. And she and she said, hey, I know you're good. I want to um, buy into a company, but I don't trust them. I'm asking you if you could do some work for me. Now, um, and so I said, okay, but... Because, you know, it is, uh, um, it is, uh, yeah, I used to work with her for like four or five years. Um, we used to lunch together. I mean, I see her as a good colleague. -er. Um, we used to see each other out of, we used to go to, um, to the sports school in the, in the evening. And that woman let me work for three months, set up uh, three different accounting system. And that woman knows that she never had any money. And I think if you knew you didn't have any money, don't tell me that someone else is supposed to pay me. I don't know these people. You ask me because you want to buy in their companies and you want to have some sort of a shares in their companies. I don't know these people. I, I drive every Wednesday to go and do this. And I send this woman this invoice and this woman. And I thought, never again, never again. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, don't mix business with the pleasure. If business is business and she, you know, and she signed a contract. And I'm thinking, Jesus, I hope they rip you off. You're an evil person. And I never, ever speak to that person again. And that is a Capricorn that I think, Jesus, you never know anyone. This is someone that for years, she was leaving the company. And I tell you, one euro, they gave one euro. Nobody, I recognize that nobody really liked her. One euro. And I went in my home pocket, um, all the dominoes and everybody came and eat. And, and this woman turned around after many, many years after that. And she knew she didn't have the money to pay me to set up this, um, accounting system for her with this company and she never paid my invoice and I'm thinking you bitch they will they will rob you everything you have and I'm I just walk away and this is it I ladies and gentlemen I'm someone like this if you ask me to do something I I'm going to do it without any um but business is business I you know this is someone who was working this is my business that I was running I took my time out and that's why I'm like back off of Capricorn. The second Capricorn, Jesus, no, that was a horrible one. That man, I rented a place from that man. And that man would go in my office in the night and copy my data and information off the computer when I was helping this man to get his place rent. I don't know. When Capricorns are bad, they're just horrible. Horrible, horrible. The man copied my data and information and end up giving um my information to his side piece chick and sweetheart and sell my data and information and try to build a company like my company. I'm thinking, really? So, ladies and gentlemen, I've learned about Capricorns. I've learned about Capricorns. Capricorns can be ruthless. I'm not like that. I don't know. I was just not born for this world. Even my partner is saying, Kay, you're still not ready for this world. It's because I do not have any, I'm not jealous. I don't have any, um, 
um, you know, other khadakh, then if I'm helping you, I'm helping you. And then this last Capricorn, now oh, this is the one that took the tea. This, this last Capricorn is the one that took the tea. And I'm thinking, Jesus Christ, you're a sick person. A young lady, 2017 to 18, uh, 19, I was in um, America. And I was investigating identity theft. And this young Capricorn connected to me and was looking for help. And I knew that she was sent. I knew it the day. I remember she said, you know, I'm a so, so, so. And I said, yes, I'm not. I don't read people by the profession that they are. I read people from their soul. And she became and she tried to become friends. And I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And I'm like, you know something, Lord? I'm supposed to learn unconditional love. I'm going to learn unconditional love. And I opened my world to this person. Because I have nothing to hide, ladies and gentlemen. I'm someone, I don't have anything to hide. So if you think that you have secrets on me or dirt on me, get a life. No secret, no dirt. And this woman, oh my God, this woman waited until I get back to Holland and change my identity and call up and ask for my identity and change my son and my information. This woman, uh, no, ladies and gentlemen, no, these, no, no. I am someone I love. I, when I love and I open up my world, I open up my world, but I've learned and I can't imagine I am not that way. And this is why I say to a lot of people, um, we are all born under the same sign, but I'm like, I have, but, but, but my, my heart is so kind. And when I let you in my world, I loyalty and respect, especially loyalty, loyalty, loyalty is very, very important to me. And a lot of people are not aware that loyalty is very important to someone and this woman for whatever range and eight like as if anything that other people have they pick it out of the sky a lot of people work hard hours ladies and gentlemen if you know what it is to do only these weekly readings and the strength that you have to have because i'm not holding up a card and going to say oh my oh yeah the sun is shining and there's a big moon so Expect secrets and now that is BS. Okay, I don't. There's just a, a, a handful of people that I listen to um, that you know can really read. And there is the mystical witch. She is so good. Now that woman, but I don't have all the time because I run my home business. And the thing about it is that people who are going to look at the card. Oh yeah. And there's, I'm like, really seriously get the, get, what is this? This is BS. But the young woman, I think, Jesus, I sit and wait for you to get back from the islands. I sit and make sure that you get on your plane. I don't sleep the whole night. And I'm helping you through your issues and you could turn around. So I'm like, you know. Life is full of surprises. I learned from these three Capricorns. There is something um, that people do not understand. Loyalty. Loyalty is very important. And I don't have friends. And the thing that I don't have friends because I don't think you, uh, if you can't have anything um, where you can trust uh, um, you have loyalty. Loyalty is very important. And as a Capricorn person, um, loyalty is very important because my son, father, um, you know, and loyalty is very important. And if you do not have that, I am staying away from people. I, you know, I'm loving you and I'm sending you love. But, you know, this last thing with the, a young lady taught me that you never know people who they are, the deviousness. And the evil and the jealousy, you can hate me for what I have. Uh, everyone was born with a, a certain sort of uh, um, gift. And, you know, I share my gifts with the world because I love people. 
And I think about it and I said, you know, that is not going to even stop me. It is who you are. It is your karma. You need to face your demons and your devils. I am just going to be staying true to myself and help all the people I try to do. And I think Jesus, you know, even the woman, and I was like, whoa, but this young lady, she put the icing on the cake. The woman went and accessed my information. And it's a good thing I had a check down so I know what I could not imagine. What the self, what, what, you know, what ate you? That you have so much aid for someone who has been there and open up their world to you and help you. Whatever happens to that thing called loyalty, you know, it's a sick situation. This woman... I came back and this woman was pretending as if she was me. Opened up accounts, took money underneath my name. Wow. So, ladies and gentlemen, not all of us is that way because I know a whole lot of you Capricorns out there have met it. You have met it. And the thing about it, Capricorns, stay true to yourself. If you stay, if you don't stay true to anyone else, stay true to yourself loyalty is the most powerful thing as you are loyal to yourself and you can be loyal to other people you will see how your life just flow in positive way um i know it's hard capricorn and like uh capricorns we are born under and we are ruled by saturn and we oh my god it's, it's as if this is our life last lifetime i say i'm always saying why didn't they give capricorn after you have finished this lesson, this life lesson, a whole lot of us is just broken. A whole lot of us will not want to become another human again. Of all people have treated Capricorn people so unkindly. But yet still, it's not all Capricorn people. Some Capricorn people can be ruthless, okay? Blatant, ruthless. And I am thinking... There has to be, no matter what someone is going to be do, doing to me, I'm not going to be ruthless. You know, you, I'm, I think karma, and a lot of people don't understand karma. If you ate me and you do me, um, and you hurt me, you're only hurting yourself because karma is going to be coming back and hits you one day. So Capricorns, do the best you can. Loyalty is the, is the best thing. If you recognize that people are not as loyal as you are, let them go. They're not supposed to be in your circle. I love you guys. Share, share, share. Namaste. Go check out the love reading. It was good. Namaste.